A very warm welcome to the Aylands Open Space, the home of the BSFL. This is Premier Division action on Game Week 1. Zaza FC against Highgate Albion. Zaza in the green and white, managed by Denis Kutcher. In goal, Bartosz Klemkovic, a back four of Brian Laferve, Irvin Prusci, Ergis Kostrati and Callum Coleman. In midfield, Ali Chankara and Bertuk Sayed, Mustafa Sayed, Ridwan Hussain, the captain, Don Ray Ray, and leading the line, Raj Hai and Don Gala. Substitute is Onar Garip. Highgate Albion in the navy blue, managed by Adam Shahi in goal, Luke Ward. Back three, Elvin Ke'erima, Ian Maitland the captain, Kyle Brindle, and then Billy Hayes and Reese Lambert are the two wing-backs. In midfield, Pelly Riley and Luke Alfano. A three-prong attack of excellence, Mahemba, Tej Kennedy and Richard Ennin. On the bench, Akrim Mohamed, Aaron Scott, Teddy Stacey and Anton Johnson. Today's referee is Dimitri Anastasio and the assistant referees Jake Basham and Mohamed Dawood. White shirts and green shorts for the home side. They're kicking from right to left in this first half. And they're trying to apply some early pressure. Said over towards Laferve, who gets a good looking ball into the box. And then headed away. And as far as Kara. Kara's going to return it again. Asking one or two questions here. If I get Albion and Zaza, they promoted to the Premier Division this season as the team that come up from the Championship. A nice touch from Alfano, he gets it again, same ball. Bit of a miss hit from the Verve, he's recovered. It's going to be a long throw. Towards that penalty area, trying to get the flick on, almost getting the shot away was Enning. Cleared away by uh, Zaza. Without the top scorer from last season, Hazan Yilmaz for this game. That's a nice turn from Paddy Riley. Ends up winning it. Throw it. Towards the penalty area. Riley again. Turns it to Hayes. It's into the penalty area from Kerama. No danger was done in the end. Goalkeeper Klenkovic. Playing it short. Pushing Krestati are the uh, two central defenders for Zaza. So, to move through the midfield. Their playmaker, Ali Chankara. All the way back to the aforementioned Erges Kestrati. To the midfield. Nice flowing touch. And the ball into the back post. It was just beyond on Ray Ray. He made a good run into the box. Albion forcing the ball out to this near son Billy Hayes playing as a wing back today gets that ball in towards the edge of the penalty area Kennedy headed up in the air from Castrati just missed the header there right and then he does hook it clear but only as far mind you as Paddy Riley has made room for the shot and he hit the target but it was an easy save by Partosh Klemkovic match day one Still waiting for goal number one for either of his two sides. That's an excellent turn though from Taj Kennedy. Kennedy gets it cross in. It's a good block. End up towards the back post from Pelly Riley. Reese Lambert challenging, but it's gone behind for a goal kick to Zaza. First ever meeting between these two teams. It's a lovely turn. It's the same. And now, chance to get forward. Dungala. The same again. It's a good run, but an equally very good tackle for me and Maitland. Just blocked it off and mopped it up very, very competently. Kostrati. This is Sehan. Hoops it over the top, but straight through to Luke Ward in a Highgate Albion goal. Flicks. Wait, it's fairly even so far. This is suggested in the scoreline. It's won back very well by Alfano. And roll down the line. Lambert was involved. This is Enning. Goalkeeper committed himself, but he's been held up here, Enning. Lambert, it's a great ball in. Dealt with, though, by Zaza. Roll back down the line again. Excellent Smehemba. Is the man involved? Billy Hayes. It's a nice little flick from Kennedy. 
Whistles in towards goal. It's beaten away once again. They've got the numbers back there. Zaza. up. Just thought the danger. Kiar him up. To the penalty area it goes. He couldn't quite reach to get the touch, Richard Enick. Goal kick to Zaza. Eventually, the free allows the free kick to be taken, and now he's going to stop it. It's an indirect free kick. It's been given because the goalkeeper took two touches with the goal kick. And the referee is awarded an indirect free kick here as a result of it. Yeah, Maitland's standing over it. So too Richard Enning. You get the feeling Maitland's going to go for the goal. And he has. And he's managed to scream it in at the near post. Ian Maitland. Well, it was tough luck on Zaza. But the referee's got it absolutely spot on because the... Goal kick was taken with two touches and by the letter of the law he's done the right thing and it's been rattled home. Ian Maitland chips him at an early goal on the opening day and Highgate Albion are off the mark with an opener. Got up is on for Mr. Fasayid for the home side. He's giving away Mohemba. Chance to run at Castrati. Gets the ball across. It's a very good ball as well. Goalkeeper does his job and he needed to. Richard Enning was ghosting in. Cut up. The same. Solid defending from Highgate Albion. It's a good flick, but just a bit too much pace on it for Tage Kennedy. Saying again against Lambert. He's done well. He's got the better of Lambert here. Hussain. Moves it down the line. Ray. Shot is blocked. Hussain again across the face of goal. And nipped it. And an equaliser from the substitute. Erno got it. And Zaza quickly back level. Highgate Albion were only in the lead for about six minutes. The shot coming in from Hussain. Goalkeeper pushes it out. And it's turned back across the face of goal by Callum Coleman. And just tucked away from point blank range by Onir Garip. So Highgate Albion looking to reinstate their advantage. Another long ball. Maitland inevitably in there. Hooked away over his shoulder by Sehan. Shot comes in. He controlled it well on the volley. Just flew over the crossbar from Richard Ennett. Reacted well to the equaliser, Highgate Albion. There's Kennedy. Gets the cross in, despite the attentions of Leferve. And again, this time it's over the top and it's a goal kick. Zaza 1, Highgate Albion 1. And here comes Zaza again, growing in confidence in Dongala. Stopped in his tracks. And this is where Highgate Albion are so very, very dangerous. Any good tracking back. Ferv and Kara both working hard to stop the cross from coming in. It does eventually come in and turn just over the top. Really good ball in from Rhys Lambert on the left-hand side. Goal kick to be taken by Bartosz Klumkovic. Up towards the halfway line. Chase is on. Can you add him up? Oh, he's shown just a little bit too much there to Don Ray Ray. But he does rescue the situation. And as the half-time whistle goes, a fairly even first half. And the newly promoted side are holding Highgate Albion here. 1-1 at half-time. Ready to get underway for this second half. I get Albion had to try and uh, recover themselves after taking the lead. They dragged back at 1 1. Zaza haven't been overawed by their opponents today. As the ball is cleared away by Prussian and driven back in. They have defended very well for the most part, the home side. 
Here comes the cross from Alfano. Again, headed away. Only as far as Billy Hayes. Great control from him. Billy Hayes back into the penalty area. Good defended by Ali Chankara. Chankara coming away with the ball. And then Billy Hayes goes in and the referee's whistle goes. That's a free kick to Zaza. The inside from Reese Lambert. Good challenge. Retrieving the situation, Enning. And, uh, squaring up to one another there. Richard Enning and uh, Rajai Dungala. Referee Dimitri Anastasia was within good range to view the situation. And his interpretation is a yellow card for Dongala. Comes a long throw again. Such a feature for Highgate Albion. Good header away by Castrati. Then turned away by Kara. Clearance from Hussain. That was a poor touch there by Brindle. What can they make of this? It was a good opening. Callum Coleman didn't make the most of it and slammed it over the top of the crossbar. Thrown by Brian Leferve. Hooked on by Ndongala. Leferve again. Away by Castrati. Inflict on by Bertog Seham. Playing with confidence, the home side. Trying to get themselves in front for the first time in this game. The cross coming in from Ndongala. And again, to the edge of the box. Shot by Kara. And was blocked. Kara's having a really busy game in that midfield. Good header away by Castrati. Equally good flick on by Seham. Now Kennedy. That's a good ball. Bringing in Anton Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Substitute. Goes down. And gets a free kick. Chipped in towards that back post. And safely into the hands of Klemkovic. They are dangerous in those set police situations. There's Mohamed. Brindle. That's a good ball into the channel. Tage Kennedy taking on the defender Leferve. Once again, equal to the task, Zaza, defending stoutly in this game. Long throw comes in. Headed towards goal. That's a really good save from Klemkovic. Well, he wouldn't have seen it until very late. The header was from very close range and an excellent save from Klemkovic. He's with a long ball forward. It's a lovely touch by Johnson and again Klemkovic is on his toes and out off his line quickly good goalkeeping goes up towards the halfway line and that's a pretty decent throw as well Don Ray Ray up towards the edge of the penalty area that's a good ball into the box and a turn as well headed over the top of the crossbar it's good defending by Teddy Stacey the shot was from Hussain great play this from Don Ray Ray and a beautiful ball that takes out the defender, Kiarami, straight away. And he just clips it over the top of the goalkeeper. You think that's on its way in. But a very good defender off the line. Uh, header off the line, rather, from Teddy Stacey, the substitute. The chance to get the cross in, maybe. He was nearly on the end of it, Richard Enning. Starting to assert their authority in this game. Highgate Albion. It's been a really good game as well. Enning gets a second chance. Number two to one. Cross comes in. Shouts of handball. Would have been harsh against Carter. And cleared away. And on the counter-attack, they might just do some damage here, Zaza, but it's too far ahead of Don Ray Ray, and the whistle has gone anyway. Flag was up against Ray. Anton Johnson switching it from the left to the right. It's a good ball as well. Low ball into the box and over the top of the crossbar from Richard Edding. And that was probably the best chance that they've carved out in the second half so far. Beautiful ball this from the left foot of Anton Johnson to the far side. And a low delivery across from Teddy Stacey. And I think the first to admit he should have scored was Richard Edding. Johnson, it's another weave in run. Kennedy chases. The Ferv gets there first, and that's very good defending. 
accomplished defending. Prushi with a long clear. It's up towards the halfway line. It's something else that they can chase. Don Ray Ray was the man chasing it. It's a good turn for Mohammed. And that's a good ball as well into the penalty area. Goalkeeper comes out. Stumbles. Referee had a long, hard look. And he's given a goal kick. Too many complaints. From, uh, the man that went down. My goodness. It was a tight call, wasn't it? Hold down the line by Johnson. Talk to each other. Ferv couldn't quite clear it there. He's got help from his teammates though. I get how we can have it back. It's a missed kick and across the face and out. That was a good, de good defending by Urges Kastrati. Mistake by central defender. Partnership there of uh, Prushi, the partner. Just missed kicked it and the goalkeeper wasn't out quick enough. They were lucky to get away with that. Zaza. Another good ball, Kennedy. Time to turn. Bertogsen scoops it over the top. They know that that ball is a problem ball for Highgate Albion. They've got two there to deal with it. Kiaremi was one of the defenders. Gets it away. Knocked down the line by Merhemba. That big penalty shout just a moment ago that didn't quite come off for Highgate Albion. Good defending by Billy Hayes. Put his head in where it hurts and come away with the ball. Now he's got the throw in. In fact, he's got the free kick. It's a good header away again. Sahin. Free kick is given just as Mahemba rolls it down the line. Straight through to Luke Ward who's going to Beat this one long downfield. Not quite as long as he was hoping, but it still quickly made it through to the opposition penalty area. This is Enning who squares it back. What an opportunity here for Kennedy, who scores three minutes into stoppage time. And they just don't know when to give up Highgate Albion. And it's a late, late winner from Tage Kennedy. You can't exactly call it route one, but the long kick downfield was flicked on. And the cross from Richard Enning was right on a plate. And Tage Kennedy doesn't usually miss those. And he lethally dispatches it past Klemkovic for a goal in the 93rd minute. It's harsh on Zaza, who have really given a good account of themselves on their first game of the season in the Premier Division. One well by Carter. No doubt that he's had a very good match. Here he is again, coming forward. Is there a way back for the home side? Of course, problems coming forward on the counter-attack in this second half. That quick ball forward is always a good outlet. That's going to be a free kick. Foul on Garrett, the goal scorer of the equalising goal. Long ball from Klankovic, taken brilliantly by Luke Ward. Made his decision early, came and claimed. And it's Highgate Albion that claim all three points here at the Aylands Open Space. Zaza 1, Highgate Albion 2.